In this video, I'll be showing you guys 5 more upgrades you can do to your keyboard. As for the keyboard I'm using, it's from Marvel DIY. Thank you for sending this over. Marvel DIY is actually a brand new company and is releasing new keyboard kits. For their first keyboard kit, it's called the Undefined 61, which features a 60% aluminum kit. This is a high profile aluminum case. It actually feels pretty solid and pretty premium and there are rubber feet for the base. I have worked with aluminum kits for the GK61 before and I gotta say this feels a little bit more premium because of the noticeable weight. As for the PCB, it is a hot swappable PCB with north facing switches and supports only plate mounted stabilizers. So I'm first gonna start off by building the keyboard without any mods. The switches I'll be using are Phantom Reds from Keychron. They do offer keycaps to complete your keyboard, however they only sell XDA profile keycaps. And this is actually my first time working with them, I decided to go with the milk and honey keycaps. If you're wondering what's the difference between XDA profile and normal profile, XDA profiles are usually flat. They are fully flat across all the different rows of your keyboard. I think this was a really good move by Marvel DIY because this helps avoid the whole north facing interference. This was actually my first time working with the Milk and Honey keycaps, they are pretty famous out there. And I gotta say the print on them actually looks really good. It actually looks really crispy and I actually like them somehow. Overall, this is a really easy build to do. The kit is actually really beginner friendly. All you have to do is install switches and the keycaps and you're done. So here's what the keyboard sounds like stock. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys 5 different mods that you can do to this keyboard to make it sound better. We are first going to start off by disassembling the keyboard, remove your keycaps, remove all the screws on the top. For the first mod, we are going to work with our stabilizers. This is called the holy mod. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of tweezers, some scissors and a band-aid. Do ensure that your band-aid is a cloth band-aid like a fabric band-aid and not a plastic band-aid. After disassembling our stabilizer, we're going to peel half the bandaid off because this will be much easier when we're working with it later on. Alright, so the first step is we're going to insert the plaster into this hole of the stem. We're going to roughly cut a bandaid that would fit into that hole of the stem. It should roughly look something like this. If it's slanted, it's alright because we're going to trim it later on. We're going to insert it right into the center of the stem and apply force to make sure that it sticks onto the stabilizer. I would highly recommend using tweezers for this. Alright, next up we're going to trim it. We're just going to trim it just by a little bit so that it doesn't overextend on the stabilizer. What we're going to do is push it through the bottom of the stem and ensure that it goes all the way through to the other side. Once you see your bandaid going through the other side, you can go ahead and apply pressure to make sure that it stays onto the stabilizer. You can trim it a little bit more because mine is a little bit too long. And that's the holy mod. I usually like to apply pressure back onto the plaster so that it stays on. This helps get rid of all your rattling and ticking internally. So we're going to talk about externally. This is called the anti-tick mod. Before installing your stabilizer back onto the PCB and plate, just make sure you know the orientation of where the wire lays. We're going to use the other half of the bandaid right now and cut out a bandaid that's roughly sized similar to the wire. This bandaid is going to be lying right below your wire to prevent the wire from hitting the PCB and causing any sort of rattling or ticking. Mm -hmm. 
As for the space bar, all you're gonna wanna do is apply the same thing but on both sides of the stabilizer. So yeah, the holy mod plus the anti-ticking mod will take care of any ticking internally and externally. The next mod is something new, I have actually never tried it before, this is called the P switch pad mod. These are basically individual switch pads that are made from PE foam. You stick this onto your PCB to help dampen the sound of the switch. This usually helps with aluminum cases with maybe louder switches. Here's a comparison between one which is switch padded and not switch padded. Overall, I do find this mod a little bit too tedious, but it does help dampen your sounds. Moving on, we're going to move to Tempest State mod. This helps remove any hollowness and make your keyboard sound a lot poppier. I actually find this mod extremely helpful. It is extremely simple, some fabric tape, cut it to the shape, get rid of the screw holes and you're done. The amount of layers you do actually do affect the sound of your keyboard, so do take note. I usually do about 3-4 to four layers maximum but I think 2 is a good sweet spot. If you go any higher than 3 or 4, it's gonna be really hard for you to get your screw holes. For our final mod, it's called the Gummy O-Ring mod. This is where you place O-Rings at the mounting points of a keyboard to get a softer typing experience. The most important thing about this mod is that your O-Ring shouldn't lay completely flush to the bottom of the mounting point, it should be raised a little bit. And that's it, after 5 mods, this is what the keyboard sounds like. Alright, I've come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was 5 more mods you can use to upgrade your keyboard to make it sound better. I would definitely recommend trying out the Holy mod at least because it really helps your stabilizer sound a lot, a lot better. And also, thank you to Marvel DIY for sending over their Undefined 61. If you guys are interested, I'll be leaving links in the description down below. If you're planning to get your first keyboard, I think Marvel DIY would be a really good choice. You get the premium feeling aluminum case and you get XDA keycaps so you don't have to worry about no facing interference. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and it will help me and you help me. Comment down below if you've tried any of these mods before and what you think of the Switch Pad mod because I'm actually really interested on in what you guys think. And subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.